and then um, there. Okay, so and Alex, actually, while we're doing this, if you wanted to try the 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 pause and resume and just while you're on the the uh, oh, practice. I've, I've done some of. Okay, so you, yeah, I've done some of this with uh, like. Uh, uh, after Karen, I'm watching Karen's sample video of like, now I will pause myself. Now I will resume. Okay. So you, yeah. So you don't need much coaching or practicing because you've already no. done that for yourself. Okay. Great. And just a note that um, the usual setup for the recorder, because it doesn't matter what setup other Good morning and welcome to the Unitarian Church of Edmonton. My name is Karen Mills. My pronouns are she and her. And together with Gordon Ritchie, we have the honor of being your co-service leaders and co-choir directors. And so this morning I would like to welcome you here on what is, well, it's a spring day, but it's hard to see that outside right now. So I, I hope this is not a sign of our summer to come. Um, very grateful for the rain at the beginning of the week and would love to see some more of that right now. I know that we do have one announcement, so I'll invite Elora to come forward for that. Good morning, everybody. My name is Elora. My pronouns are they, them. I have a two-part announcement for Canoodle next weekend. So Canoodle is the Canadian UU Youth Conference, the national conference, um, and... I have two pieces. I need one more overnight human. Um, it's a four-hour shift on Sunday night from midnight till 4 a.m. So I need one person to fill that shift. So if somebody could come and talk to me or message me after, that would be awesome. And the second piece of that is that we will need sleeping gear. So if you have any camping mats or sleeping bags or pillows or even just a throw or a blanket, if you could bring it by at some point in the next week, that would be appreciated. Please make sure to put your name on it. Otherwise, you probably won't find it again. This morning, for something a little bit different, we are all going to do the prelude. And so we are going to begin with hymn number 347, Gather the Spirit. You're welcome to either follow along in a hardcover hymnal or the words will be on the screen behind you.
As we begin our service, I want to take time to acknowledge that we are gathered on Treaty 6 territory. And the service this morning is about where we draw nourishment for our spirit, where we draw inspiration from. And Gordon has crafted a beautiful collection of readings and music and... Um, there are a lot of references to light as well, and so where we find the light that guides us, but also nurturing that light within us. And um, as I was thinking about doing the land acknowledgement and reading through the service, it really reminded me of a teaching that I was privileged to have. And it was on the cultural difference around handshakes between Indigenous people and sort of what's considered a good handshake in Western culture. And in Western culture, we're often taught that you need a really strong, firm grip on your handshake, and that's a show of strength and confidence and dependability. Um, in the teaching that I received, the, I guess the, the ultimate in handshakes uh, in an indigenous culture is a gentle cupping, because the image that goes with that is that you are receiving and holding in care the other person's heart as you shake their hand. And it really struck me what, what a cultural difference that represents, whereas one seems to be the power and sort of almost overtaking the other person. You know, if you think of you start a relationship with a handshake where you are receiving this person's heart and taking care of it, um, that to me is such a strong symbol of how we could begin relationships with care and intention and um, really honor the teachings and the knowledge that have come to us through all the First Nation, Métis and Inuit that have been on these lands far before we and cared for them and continue to care for them and can enrich our lives in so many ways. So I'm very grateful to be living and still learning a lot on Treaty 6 territory. We'll now have our chalice meeting. I would like to ask Ruth Patrick to come and light our chalice this morning. And I've also invited um, Chantel to assist me in our chalice lighting words, which are by Reverend Theodore Parker. Not too close. Que notre religion soit comme un rayon de soleil qui se diffuse partout. Be ours a religion which, like sunshine, goes everywhere. Que son sanctuaire embrasse tout. Its temple, all space. Que, que son haut mille que son haut lieu soit le cœur humble. Its shrine, a good heart. Sa doctrine, la sagesse universelle. Its creed, all truth. Son rite, des gestes d'amour. Its ritual, works of love. Sa confession, de foi, des actes divins. De justice. It's profession of faith, divine living. Merci Chantal. Thank you, Ruth. Now I asked Ruth to light our chalice this morning because we have a debut tune to offer you this morning. Um, I woke up in the middle of the night as sometimes happens, with text in my head. This is actually uh, middle of February. And began to write a piece, and as I was writing it, uh, I kept thinking of Ruth and her work within our church and the UU community. There's one particular phrase in, this, in the song, which is, this is a welcoming flame. And of course, thinking of, of the work that Ruth has done specifically to the LGBT community and creating a safe and welcoming place. And so, which with much love and respect, this tune has been dedicated to Ruth, and we present it to you for the first time in human history, 
this morning. We'll now invite Elora Ford for a reading. Out of Yearning by Susan Manker Seal. We speak to the God, the Goddess, the Spirit of Life, the Eternal. We speak to the mysterious thread that connects us one to the other and to the universe. We speak to the deep wisdom at the center of our beings. We embody the yearning of all people to touch each other more deeply, to hear each other more keenly, to see each other's joys and sorrows as our own and know that we are not alone unless we create solitude for ourselves. And even then, community awaits us. Out of our yearning, we have come to this religious community. May we help each other to proclaim the possibilities we see, to create the community we desire, to worship what is worthy in our lives, to teach the truth as we know it, and to serve with justice in all the ways that we can, to the end that our yearning is assuaged and our lives fulfilled in one another. We'll now take an offering. It's one of the ways that we share our abundance, that we nurture our spirits of gratitude, um, of generosity, and support the workings of this congregation. It's also a way that we honor the great work that's happening throughout the community. Half of the unidentified contributions are shared with uh, a group outside of our congregation and for the month of May it is YES, the Youth Empowerment Support Services. Um, like a lot of uh, social agencies, they have found that the need for their services is unfortunately increasing rather than decreasing. And they have just uh, done a really extensive look at the services that they offer, the skills that they have, and are shifting their focus a little bit with the realization that they can't do everything for everyone, but they can do some things really, really well. And so what they are focusing on now is 24-7 um, crisis intervention and youth emergency housing. They did have live-in more uh, long-term housing and mental health programming, and they are working now collaborating with community partners to take over that portion of their work but they found that the need is so great for the very emergent care um, and that that is where their expertise really lies, uh, that that is what they're focusing on. 
So I would invite the ushers to come forward uh, to take our collection. And as they do, we will have some lovely noodlings from Gordon. Thank you for your generosity. And as the offering is brought forward, let's sing together from, the, from you I receive. On occasions I've heard some say, but how can you display all these images in a church? Simple answer. That's because we're Unitarian Universalists. We welcome all to join us on a search for truth and meaning. And you can certainly bring your own beliefs into our community. But I've also heard some universal, Unitarian Universalists say that you can be a part of a UU community and not believe anything at all. Well, I don't believe that that's true. The following words are by Sherry Prudhomme. We declare that there are many paths to the sacred. We hold fast to a notion that one religion does not hold all the truth all the time, not even Unitarian Universalism. We maintain that a free, open, and respectful dialogue is one of the primary ways our theological perspectives evolve and grow. We affirm the power of love to heal what is broken, to hold us together across the pluralities of diverse religious practices and beliefs, to hold us when things fall apart, to grow our capacities, and to guide us as we return again and again to our families and communities to side with love. As many of you know, UU congregations affirm and promote eight principles, which we hold as strong values and moral guides. As Reverend Barbara Wells Ten Hove explains, the principles are not dogma or, do or doctrine, but rather a guide for those who choose to join and participate in UU religious communities. Now I wonder what banners in our sanctuary resonate with you. Let's review them. The first on my left is a banner that reflects indigenous spirituality. We then have a symbol that represents the Islam faith, Humanism, Buddhism, Hinduism, the Jewish faith, Taoism, 
Christianity, pagan and earth-based spirituality, and Unitarian. I trust you all knew what they were, as good Unitarians do. Now, there are many more images that could be represented in our sanctuary. There could be a symbol that is not here, that is mindful of you. Though there are three banners that I resonate with. As a child, I was brought up in the Christian tradition as a member of the Anglican Church. As a young adult, my brother introduced me to Buddhism. But I've always been drawn to Druid spirituality, likely due to my Celtic roots. So I consider myself a pagan Unitarian. The Anglican faith remains very important to my husband, so he considers himself a Christian Unitarian. Sherry Prudholm continues, we are grateful for the religious pluralism which is enriches and ennobles our, li our faith and are inspired to deepen our understanding and expand our vision. As free congregations, we enter into this covenant, promising to one another our mutual trust and support. And so with us, that understanding and promise of mutual trust and support, and, and support, my question to you this morning is, what feeds your spirit? For those of you online, if you wish, uh, you can share your thoughts in the chat. For those in the, here in the sanctuary, I invite you to form into small groups, two or three or four at max, if possible, and share your thoughts if you are comfortable in doing so. Um, the chimes when we're halfway through and conclude by ringing them again when we're, we're finished our discussion. Let's begin. For an understanding of who we are as ourselves, but also how we relate to one another. So thank you all so very much. And for those who are participating online. Let us remember the words of Universalist Minister Olympia Brown. Stand by this faith. Work for it and sacrifice for it. There is nothing in the world so important as to be loyal to this faith, which has placed before us the loftiest ideas, which has comforted us in sorrow, strengthened us for the noble duty, and made the world beautiful. Do not demand immediate results, but rejoice that we are worthy to be entrusted with this great message, that you are strong enough to work for a great, true principle without counting the cost. May it be so. Blessed be. We have a, a responsive reading for you now, uh, entitled An Internal Verity. The text, yes, is behind me. Love when that happens. Uh, we'll alternate um, our, our uh, sentences. I'll begin. Ancient as the home is the temple, ancient as the wood bench is the altar. Older than written word is the spoken prayer. Older than painting is the thought of a nameless one. Religion is first and last, the universal language of the human heart. Different words describe the outward appearance of things. Diverse symbols represent that which stands beyond and within. Yet each person's hunger is the same, and heart Ever the vision leads on with many gods, or with one, with a holy land washed by ocean waters, or a holy land within the heart. In temperament we differ, yet we are dedicated to one of our destiny. We desire us, but we share a common quest. Because we are human, we shall ever build our altars, because each has a holy yearning, we offer everywhere our prayers and anthems for an eternal prayer. 
charity abides in adversities. We are children of one great love, united in our one eternal family. Our next hymn is number 86, found in our hardcover hymn books, Blessed Spirit of My Life. I invite you to rise in body and spirit as we join in singing number, hymn number 86. many ways of showing that we care for one another, that we care for our larger community. We did so with the offering where we share that with a larger community. But each week we also take time to light candles of care and connection, concern, and celebration. And so I would invite you now to come forward. There are candle stations on either side. If you have something in your heart that you would like to symbolize through the lighting of a candle, um, please come forward to do that now. As you do, Coriolis will provide some background music for you. Thank you. 
There is a light that shines beyond all things on earth, beyond all of us, beyond the heavens, beyond the highest, the very highest heavens. This is the light that shines in our hearts. I invite you now to enter a time of meditation. If you'd like to get comfortable in your chairs or at home on the floor or on your bed, Feel the support behind your back, the openness of your chest and your breathing. You can either dull your vision or close your eyes if that's comfortable for you. We'll have some spoken words, silence, and then a choral response. Our spoken words this morning are Making Room for All That Is by Lynn Cox. Spirit of life, ancestor of the stars and the sun, you who embrace the vastness of space and us along with it, be with us today. Hold us in our worry, our exhaustion, our grief. Keep us close as we sit with our truth, whatever that may be, and lead us to rest in the quiet. You whose arms open with the spinning galaxy, help us to make room, as you do, for all that is. Open our hearts to our loved ones, our neighbors, the beings with whom we share this planet. Lead us to reach out to others in compassion. Turn us toward one another in mercy, right relationship, and reconciliation. You who have seen the rising and setting of suns, of seasons, of civilizations, remind us of all that we have learned from the history of the world and from our own histories. Give us the courage to face our mistakes and to repair them whenever possible. Help us understand our interdependence, our gravitational relatedness with all of the other spinning lives around us, and lead us to treat those relationships with care. In this space, filled with the people among us who shine like stars, this space filled with the sparkle of love and care, we give thanks this moment to be together. May our senses be open to the beauty of this day, this season, this world. Let us keep the silence together.
I'll invite you now to join me in a responsive reading. Um, the words will be on the screen, but really your part is quite simple and it's the same every time. Nurture this precious light. How shall we begin to live out our free faith? Nurture this precious light. When we do, we are beacons of freedom, creating a safe place to rest, explore, and innovate. Nurture this precious light. How we keep this lamp of truth and justice affects how and whether we are transforming inequity through witness and action. Nurture this precious light. As we nurture this precious light together, we become a light of hope, turning isolation into community, anguish into peace, sorrow into joy. Nurture this precious light. As we do, our faith burns a steady flame of innovation banishing illusion, creating a new and renewing way together. Nurture this precious light. With our living connections, with our glowing stories, with our flame of freedom moving hand to hand, we nurture this precious light. Together we turn this world from weak to bright, one flame, one fire, one light at a time. And now I invite you to stand and let those precious lights shine as we sing together this little light of mine. <laughs> Chantel back for our chalice uh, extinguishing words, and Bill Roussan will extinguish our flame this morning. Chantel, s'il vous plaît. Okay. Um, until we meet again by Amy Zucker Morgenstern. May all our hours together be blessed as this one has been by open-hearted sharing, learning from one another, and making beautiful harmonies together. And may we greet everyone we encounter with the same acceptance and grateful kingship until we meet again. Bless be. Thank you. Thank you, Bill. Merci, Chantel. Our closing words are an inter, uh, interfaith benediction by Gary Kowalski. Gathered in our varied faiths, we give thanks for the blessings of the world community as we share a common dream. Homes and schools where children thrive, 
neighborhoods that are safe and clean, a city rich in colors and cultures, churches, mosques, synagogues, and temples where our deepest hope is to be of service to a hurting world. Enable us as we leave this place to carry forth this prayer into the coming week, turning our thoughts toward charity, our hearts towards justice, and our hands towards the work of peace. Shalom and Amen. The choir has one final tune to inspire you off for the rest of the season and the summer until we are all again. Uh, following that, we will join in singing Carry the Flame, our postlude. <laughs> 